all the possibilities with the stamp set with all of these really the beautiful floral imagery so this card is not going to be a big surprise because I basically um, cased this from Sharon Greening, one of my Inkspired stampers, who shared a card that she made very similar to this on our Inkspired stampers Facebook group. I loved it so much. It's what inspired me to use the Morning Star stamp set as our product of the week. And then I actually shared the card that she shared on our Inkspired stampers group on this Facebook group and everybody has commented so much and a bunch of people have made the card. Now hers had kind of a fun fold down on the corner. I opted to just keep it a little bit more simple and not do that, but I loved the stamping is what really drew me to the card. So I wanted to kind of feature that and highlight that. So I wanna show you how fun really it is to layer this stamp <sighs> set on here. Oh, okay, people are out on a walk and the dog is trying to protect our hood here. <laughs> yeah, Storm, you don't have to bark. They're just on a walk. They're just walking. They're walking slow, so <laughs> it might... Oh, there's a little girl with a very big stick. That's too funny. Yep. Yep, that looks like something Lily would do back in the day. Anyway, okay. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff, and I have my little sticky to remind you guys. I know, I love the blue too, Philomena. Um, okay, so let's see. Yes, we have some things that are retiring. I'm gonna move that sticky over there so you guys can't see it because it's bright green and I think it's fairly ugly. Um, but okay, so let me show you. Yeah, I'll tell you what's retiring after we use these things. So what do I wanna do? Let's just put this here. Sorry, I feel like I'm bumping things a lot. So what else did I wanna say? Oh, and Sharon, I should also mention, Sharon cased this card from another gal, and I've seen it on Pinterest. If you go to Pinterest and type in Stampin' Up, I always type in Stampin' Up first and then say Morning Star. So Stampin' Up Morning Star in the looking glass. You'll see the um, card that she cased. It's beautiful. I think there's even a video. I just, I forgot to write down who she cased the card from, so I apologize. Not taking credit, because it's kind of a version of a version of a version of that card at this point, but it's beautiful. And I just loved, because I, I couldn't um, appreciate the stamping until I actually did it. So I'm excited to show you guys To Hello, Miss Debbie. Welcome. Okay, so let's start with um, dimensions now that I've got everything pulled out here, right? Okay, so we have a piece of, this is balmy blue cardstock, okay? Full sheet of cardstock. Are we in view? I think we're good, right? You guys can see down here in the corner. Okay, so along the 11 inch side, simple cut, we cut it at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. This is the most simple card base you can make, right? Okay, then, let's scoot that up there, right? We have another piece of balmy blue cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And again, all these measurements will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Then we have a piece of whisper white cardstock that measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Everything else are just scraps of, this is Smoky Slate cardstock, Whisper White, and Pear Pizzazz that we're gonna do stamping and die cutting on, okay? So let's do our die cutting first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stamp on this because we need, um, with our Smoky Slate ink, we're gonna stamp the each day is a new beginning and then I'm gonna die cut that, okay. So let's do that. Each day is a new beginning. We're gonna put that right on there, okay? Close that up and we are going to die cut this one with our rectangle stitched framelits, which are retiring. So if you don't have the rectangle, can you see how many dies are in here? It's just a ton of like huge rectangle tangles. These are real wide ones, a bunch of them. There's this kind of almost square one and then these a little bit skinnier um, long ones. And that's what we're using is this one right here is the second smallest of kind of the skinny long dies. So we're gonna use that one there. So those are retiring. What else? Oh, actually the ribbon, this um, this gray granite, which is kind of funny. So I used Smoky Slate ink thinking that's um, the color that this ribbon was. And then when I pulled it out, I'm like, oh, that's gray granite. But you'll see it really works well together. So it's kind of funny that I did that. Anyway, but this ribbon is retiring. I love the stitching to that, um, what is it called? 
um, the textured weave ribbon is what it is. So all three colors, it's this gray granite. There is a granny apple green, I think, and a poppy parade. And it's such pretty ribbon, such good ribbon to, to work with too. And it's on sale also. So you guys know that, right? Some of the things that are retiring are on sale too. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so let's do, can we get, are we, I think we're good in view here. So we are going to die cut our rectangle, and then we actually, let me get this one laid down, I'll tell you about, oh, is that going to work? We're, we're going to try this. So then I have, this is just a piece of uh, smoky slate cardstock that we are going to use, the layering squares dies. And I believe it says that these are retiring, but actually what's happening is they're getting a new number um, maybe they're changing a teeny tiny bit. Um, but what else was I going to say? Because yes, Jamie, I know I'm super sad that they're retiring also. Um, okay, so wait, back to the layering squares. It says they're retiring, but I think they're just getting a new number. Um, and that's it, really. So the, the number is retiring, but these layering circles, square, and ovals aren't truly retiring. Um, you'll just be able to get them with the new number in the new catalog, okay? So we are using, this is, I think it's the largest. Yep, the largest scallop square die there, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this one on here. I'm trying to decide. I feel like I want this to go this way because I think I'm gonna have better luck. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna have room to do, do it that way, but I think we're good. I know those rectangle dies. So if you don't have the rectangles, make sure you get those because yeah, I mean, you get so many in there. Well, all of those layering, that layering squares, you see how many of those you get too. And I love the, the fact that they have straight edge and um, the scallop edge in the squares, not in the rectangles. They only have the um, stitching and a straight edge there. So Debbie, thank you for sharing. All right, so we're gonna get that one there. Let's pop this one out and then we need to do our embossing. So we've got that piece right there too, okay? So we've got both of those. Now let's do our embossing. We need our other plate here. So we're just gonna emboss with that subtle embossing folder. It's my favorite thing to do. Instead of just putting everything on this card front, I love adding another piece that has that textured embossing folder. It just adds. Can you guys see? It just adds a little something more to the card instead of a plain card front. Okay, so we need the subtle embossing folder. And let's see, I went crossways, so we're gonna go that way. So just be mindful of which way you want, and I think I need to make sure that's straight. Do you want your texture to go kind of side to side, or do you want it to go vertically, right? So you wanna think about that. This one, I want it to go side to side, but you do have to make sure, and they did give you a line here too. You wanna make sure that you line it up with your line so that it's not crooked, right? Because you don't want to have your kind of textured pattern. Man, I cannot get that in there, right? Okay, it's it's um bent a little bit. Okay, there, I think I got it now. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Okay, as it is sometimes, but that's all right. It's worth it. That embossing is worth the time. All right, here, let's see. I'm trying to scoot this stuff out of the way so it's ready to go. Yeah, I think we do need it for the next card too. I'm trying to even remember. But, because otherwise I'll be like looking all around trying to find my stuff <laughs> later. Like, where's my platform? Where are the clear plates? You know, how that stuff goes, right? Okay, so I think now, you guys, we can do our stamping. So with my Whisper White piece, we are going to start, let's pull the card back into view so I know what I'm doing too. So we are gonna start with our Pear Pizzazz ink. Oop, and there's another pearl. We'll put that right there for now. Apparently things got sloshed around a bit, okay. This and this and this. All right, we're scooting everything over so we know what we're doing. Okay, so again, with our Pear Pizzazz ink, we're gonna use, this is the stamp that kind of looks like a star, too. Like I said, it was kind of confusing. Like, okay, the star. But it doesn't have to. Once you add the flower, you kind of forget that it even looks like a star, I think. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right there in our Pear Pizzazz. Ooh, so pretty, right? Next, I kind of liked to add in my flower with the Balmy Blue ink. So we're gonna do that. 
Okay, and always the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. What I'm looking for is there's a little um, divot or angle right there on my stamp, if you can see that. And I'm trying to get it placed down right where that little part of the flower is. It's funny because it looks like there's no ink on the stamp. And you know what? If it's not perfect, that's okay. Woohoo! See? Good enough. That's the nice thing is it doesn't have to be perfect. That It's again that whole kind of watercolor wash look. Okay, now we're going to add a couple more vines, right? We're going to just stamp maybe right up there. And I think I did another one kind of off. This is what's kind of fun. They can kind of shoot off of other vines, right? Then the last step is, and actually I should show you, it's from this Beauty Abounds stamp set. So now this stamp set is not retiring, but I used, I love to have those little background smudgies. Um, and I'm trying to remember if I stamped off first. I feel like maybe I did, so we're gonna do that. Stamp off there. Yeah, I'm glad I did that because I think it'd be too dark otherwise. Stamp off there. I'm gonna put my little scrap paper underneath here because I just wanna add one more little bit right there, okay? Yeah, otherwise, because that's dark enough. It would have been super dark if I had not stamped off on there. Okay, so yeah, all my little notes. Okay, so I think I got everything. Yep, okay. So do you guys see how easy that is and how, like I said, I feel like whenever I look at this and it was confusing, it's like you're not drawn to the stamps that I don't feel when you look at it in the catalog. Because doesn't that look like a star? But then when I put it on here, you can't even see the star element any longer. I don't think, not that it really matters, but I think that it just seems strange to me. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't hitting me the right way, I guess. So I don't know, am I making any sense at all? But I really love it is my point. And I, and I kind of didn't when I saw it in the catalog. So, okay. I think we're ready to put things together now. Oh, did I forget my snail? I don't see it here. Okay, one moment. Hey, Miss Charlene. I need to, hello, hello. Yeah, hello, Miss Charlene. And hey, thanks, Susie. I appreciate that. So how did I forget my snail? I got to run back and grab that one sec. Let me grab the snail. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we might as well, let's put some adhesive behind this one. And then with our this is smoky slate cardstock, we're gonna layer that on to that largest scallop edge die, the square, scallop square die. Okay, we're gonna put some dimensionals these are funny. They're like too stuck to the sheet or something. Okay, next we are gonna take this piece right here and I already have a strip cut for myself and I wanna try to kind of line it up so I get it at the spot that I want it, which looks like about right there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna flip, flip that over and I'm gonna add a bunch of adhesive because of the embossing. The ribbon or whatever you're adhering doesn't like to stick quite as well with the embossing on there. So I'm going to press really firmly. Now I'm going to add a bunch of adhesive all the way around this cardstock. So you guys heard snail is retiring, right? I don't, that blew me away. I, you know how they do some of those things and I just wasn't expecting it. So um, I'm excited to see the new adhesive. It's funny because all of a sudden my snail has been being a little bit finicky. I have loved it this whole time, but the last little bit I've gotten has been kind of funny where it doesn't almost stick to my paper when I run it. So it will be very exciting to see the new adhesive, right? Okay, we're gonna put that right about there. Okay, did I get that? That looks good, right? Okay, so the only other thing we need to do is use our leaf punch, which is also retiring with, this is um, just a scrap of pear pizzazz cardstock. So I'm just gonna punch a couple of pear pizzazz leaves with my retiring leaf punch. So if you love this punch, super, just a simple, easy punch to kind of add a little texture to your cards. I'm gonna just kind of do that and I'm gonna try, just kind of layer one there and maybe one right about there. 
and then my sentiment. We've got our each day is a new beginning, which this is a beautiful sentiment right now, I think. Um, you know, because everybody's kind of, it's kind of hard times, right? So you go to bed kind of not feeling the greatest and you hopefully wake up feeling each day is a new beginning. So if yesterday wasn't a great day, you can still make today a better day, right? Okay, there we go. Each day is a new beginning. I have to kind of curl those leaves up a little bit. I think that's kind of fun to do that. And then the last step, I'm going to grab... There's one of my silver metallic pearls, and the rest are right here. So I don't know if you guys remember, I was saying how I'd use my gold ones. Like I've used, I don't know how many packs of gold pearls, and I have all these silver ones left. So I've been having a lot of fun finding ways to use my silver pearls, like on this card here too. I had to put a couple of them right there also, right? So yes, okay, so there is card number one with the morning spot morning star retiring morning star retiring stamp set right okay yep i did everything okay so i'm going to scoot these things out of the way 